Hi YouTube, I'm Jack, a radiology trainee in London. Most medical students don't consider radiology as a potential career. I definitely didn't when I was a student. A survey at a UK medical school found that radiology ranked number 10 out of 14 specialties that they would consider. But why? Today we'll answer that question, but also I'll argue why radiology is an exciting specialty that should be on every medical student's mind. Firstly, you get very little exposure to radiology in medical school, usually only a couple of days. What's more is that exposure is usually a very quick glance at different parts of radiology, hardly enough to get you really thinking about it as a career. Compare that to medicine and surgery where you typically get at least a few weeks or even months. A survey at the University of Pittsburgh Medical School found that adding an extra eight and a half hours of radiology teaching in medical school made medical students see the specialty as more favorable, possibly unsurprisingly. If you had more exposure in medical school to radiology, then I'm certain that more people would consider radiology as a career. I will say however that the other specialties like medicine and surgery are incredibly important and the curriculum is pretty stretched as it is so you wouldn't want to reduce the time in those. A good way to get your radiology exposure is to take a radiology themed elective. Unfortunately, a lot of your exposure to radiology as a medical student can involve watching people report scans. Now I say this as a radiology trainee, and I'm sure my colleagues would agree, watching someone report a scan is the most boring thing ever. It's basically the same as watching someone take blood from a patient, or take a clinical history, or even watching paint dry in black and white. The thing with radiology, and I suppose the rest of medicine, surgery and life, is that it's always more fun to be doing something than to watch someone do something. Have you ever had a surgeon get you to tie a knot in theatre? Or been allowed to take your own history and examination from a patient? That's the best feeling ever. The best radiology teaching I had in medical school is when a very enthusiastic radiology consultant got us to sit down at our own computers and showed us how to look through CT scans. We actually got the chance to try to identify some of the anatomy and even some of the diseases. Even if the radiologist doesn't offer this, when you're on your radiology block, you can always ask to have a look at a scan yourself first and have a go at trying to work out what's going on. Or if they're doing ultrasound scans, it's not much extra effort for them to let you have a quick look with the probe as well if the patient agrees. Radiology is not traditionally thought of as a particularly glamorous specialty, especially when people think that you work all day in the dark in the basement and perform tests like barium enemas or the wonderfully named defecating proctogram. No offence GI radiology. In the first survey I mentioned at the beginning of the video, one of the perceptions that medical students had about radiology was that it was a low status specialty. The perception probably arises because radiologists do not have direct responsibility for patients. Therefore, they're not the people that get thanked for treating a patient's medical condition or performing a life-saving operation. Nobody's going to run up to a radiologist and shake their hand for diagnosing their condition, nor do they tell their friends, Dr. gal has been reporting all of my MRI livers since I I was a young man and he reports my family's scans as well. However, that image is definitely changing. Radiology is a rapidly advancing and technology driven specialty. There are new amazing ways to image the human body being developed all the time. There are also emergencies that used to require major surgery but now can be treated using needles and wires under x-ray guidance. These leave nothing but a tiny puncture wound in the skin afterwards. Forget keyhole surgery, this is pinhole surgery. Also what people used to think were high status careers involve intense, fast paced, caffeine fueled, long hours, working overtime in the office, in the city or the hospital, a work hard, play hard lifestyle, fast cars, faster women. But actually what people want now is freedom and flexibility. Think about when your non-medical friend tells you that they work from home three days a week. They have time to go to the gym, time to take holidays when they want and have energy to socialize in the evenings or even just having time to pick up their kids from school and spend time with them. That's the kind of life that people want now. Radiology is one of the few specialties where you can have that sort of life. You can theoretically be working from your yacht in the Mediterranean if you had a good enough internet connection. Radiologists do see patients. Some specialties have more patient contact, like breast radiology and paediatric radiology, and that's largely because they do a lot of ultrasound. In interventional radiology, of course you'll be performing procedures on patients all the time, and usually they're awake. I truly believe that radiology becomes much more interesting after you've been a doctor for a bit. The images you see on the screen mean absolutely nothing unless you already understand the patient's pathway through diagnosis and treatment. Having that clinical experience allows you to picture the patient on the other side of the screen. It also helps because you can then see the consequences of what you write in your report. What you include in your report could sway whether a patient has surgery or doesn't. It can also be the difference between them going in circles around different medical specialties trying to find a diagnosis, all while going through lots of invasive and expensive tests. If you manage to clinch a diagnosis from the scan, you could save all that. 
Many radiologists come from a surgical background like myself and having that experience means that when you look at the scan that familiarity you've already had with surgical procedures is really useful and you can also communicate with surgeons in their own language. Ultimately I strongly believe that it makes you a better radiologist and also makes it much more interesting. If you're still on the fence check out my videos on a few other reasons to do radiology. Leave your questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.